Now, this is the wee fly I'm going to be tying. Now, this is a, what I call, it's a grouse and kihi, or kihi and grouse, whatever way you want to call it. Basically what I've done, uh, everything is the kihi is the normal tying at the back. But the hackle in front I've used a grouse covert feather, which makes for a great fly. Now the covert feathers you can find basically on the, on the wing here. You can see the nice colours. Now you can use these up and they make for great wee hackles and great colour combination. Now if you haven't got grouse, just use a, a natural brown, anything that's mottled if you want, or just it could be even black. Black kihi works extremely well. Now, who can we using? This is a fully mill, it's the all purpose medium size, in this case 12. Thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread in black. An 8 so I'm just going to run the wax through it. Just the once. And then I'm going to start the thread at the eye. Come down maybe 3 or 4 mil and then move the waist. Now for the tail, it's made two parts. I'm using the red wool. And then a golden pheasant tip it for the tail and top. Now for this size of fly, you could use either one or two strands of the wool. Now, it's up to yourself. Now, I'm just going to use the one because I want it quite light. This is tied mainly. I could be fishing the locks, but I'm tying this for the river, so I'm keeping it quite fine. So I'm going to tie this on the way down. I'm going to wind until I reach the point of the hook. And I'm going to trim it just in line with the, just, I would say, just by the bar by the hook, which is there. Got a short tail. Just rub your fingers through it as I puff it out. It's fine. Now, golden pheasant tip it. We've got a small feather here. It's a natural colour. Now, if you hold the tips, come in with the, the scissors, trim away the tail, also keeping a hold of it. Get the length, you want a length, probably about the shank length. Tie this on the top, a couple of turns. At this point, just making sure everyone's where you want, that's fine. Now, that's in line with the body, which keeps everything balanced. Now, for the rib, or to protect the hair, I'm going to use a fine copper wire. Extra small or small for this size. Just use the turn of thread to hold it. Some peacock hair. Now, this is a normal peacock hair, and I've got three strands here because it's quite a fine hair I've got. Catch it in by the tip. Just pull it into the length of the body, and then we can wind up. Now, what I'm going to do here is wind the peacock head up towards myself. Just working my way up. With a nice body. Now, to tie it off, we go across the herald with a turn, and a turn on the hook. Across the herald and a turn on the hook. Now, you have to do that because you're actually winding the herald towards yourself. So, it's a counter winding towards the thread. I mean, it's like basically it's unscrewing, so you have to lock a turn in. Now to obviously, by winding it that way and then winding the, the rib the normal way through the head it will protect it. So the wire is really there for colour as well as to protect the fly. You can then tie it off. Now, round about five turns or so for the rib, then screw it in, bend and break it off. And there we are, that's your, your body. I'm just going to stroke it back with my fingers. Just get a nice shape, so we can see. That's fine. Now we're ready to tie in my, my grouse hackle. Now we come in here. One of the covert feathers, as I said. Just look at the, I'm just looking at the colour. Too bad. Maybe use one a wee bit higher up, it's a wee bit. Yeah, that's a better one. This one's got a wee bit, a wee bit more colour in it, as you can see. Now we tie it in by the tip, so we, I like to draw back what I don't need. And remove it. So the feather itself, just the tip. And then we can locate the, locate the tip of the feather by just coming in using the hackle pliers. Draw back what we don't need, what we need for the, fit, the actual hackle. And then we can trim this to length to tie it in. You got a wax on my thread to get a wee bit of extra grip. And then catch this in nice and tight. 
And I'm going to use my Harco pliers. Now I normally would wind it by hand, but so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use my Harco pliers. Just stroke these fibres back. And then we do nice straight turns, one turn in front of the other, nice and tight. Can use up these fibres. Cross the thread. Two or three turns down. You can draw this back. Or, sorry, fold it back. And then come up. You can break that off. Keep the thread tight. And then we can about finish. Two or three turns. Always keep the thread tight when we're doing this. And we can trim this away. Now the hackle as you can see is all twisted and if you add a wee bit of heat, there's a hair dryer in this case, just lift the fibers out. And you can see how all I did was blow the hair dryer through it. it. Gives it a nice shape. That what it's doing there is just in a natural fibre like these hair feathers and that, if, because they're all twisted, and you add a wee bit of heat, it brings them into the natural shape, and that's the natural shape there. And uh, you can see it gives it a perfect look and if you're doing that to your fly uh, is basically not going to do any harm it's just going to bring the fibres into place now I'm just going to touch a varnish on the head all the way around don't want to touch the fibres just give that a second and then to use the wire it's lying in my desk to clean out the eye and there you go that's your well it's a key he with a grouse hackle so you can call it what you like, a grouse and kihi or a kihi and grouse. It's a great pattern. It's good both in the rivers and the locks. So I hope you enjoyed that.